fine weather is hardly a good omen here in the Ukrainian theatre of war. This weekend, the gloom of December made way for tentative sunshine. For Russia and Ukraine, it only meant they could finally take full advantage of their drones as both armies rushed headlong into attack. Well, these rocket missile systems are the backbone of the Russian artillery here. This one daily gets a list of targets, and that list can be more than 10 targets long. And basically, dozens of crews like this, dozens of vehicles like this, they are operating here in the forests between Kriminaya and Liman, Kriminaya and Svatova, every day. The Grad rocket launcher makes an immediate escape. The slightest delay can easily turn it from predator into prey. This Sunday saw both armies attack on a collision course and Russia made a point in overwhelming the enemy in artillery fire to nip every assault in the bud. Our targets are mainly the enemy's manpower. We are also targeting fortified enemy positions. If there is something more significant, we hit the headquarters, the positions of enemy artillery. Our intelligence is working, so we have visual confirmations of the strikes on video. In the months of war with Ukraine, Russia grew its prisoner exchange fund to the extent of thousands. And sources on the ground tell me over the weekend battles have yielded fresh harvest of captives from Moscow. Soldiers duked it out on the battlefield to the tune of Kiev's fresh attacks against cities under Russian control. A fiery inferno engulfed a market in Donetsk, a rare spot of civilian bustle in the otherwise battered city. The shelling followed an overnight HIMARS attack against a holiday recreation center in Melitopol. Local officials revealed it left at least two people killed and ten wounded. All expectations that Russia's infamous winter frost could push both sides towards a lull in the fighting shattered against bloody reality. The endless darkness of war is all that dwells in the morbid conflict between Russia and Ukraine.